Hello everyone, this is Hugh, and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to change the image banner um, at the top of your Atuhuapa theme. So previously I showed you how to set this up so that you get rid of the banner because it had a, um, a couple of generic cheesy pictures in there. And I just want you to get rid of it initially so that you could use it right away and not have to worry about the pictures. Now we're going to go back in and create your own pictures. So this is how you do it. First of all, you need a program to make changes to your images, to crop them, to resize them, to you know do whatever. So I would, the program I recommend is Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. Um, my second choice, actually not my second choice, but my other suggestion would be uh, Adobe Fireworks. Those are both great programs to use, and I use both both of them. However, if you don't want to spend the money, there's also another great program called GIMP. GIMP is completely free and it works on Windows, Mac, and I believe Linux also. So you can just go to GIMP.org and you can download here and just download the uh, the version for your system, install it, and you'll be ready to go. Now obviously because it's free it's not going to be as good as programs like Photoshop. I mean those are professional you know, image manipulation programs. But for some people GIMP might be good enough and it might actually be a little easier to use. So let's give it a try. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out how big our image is going to be. So let's go into our dashboard and go into Atuhuapa theme options and then from there click on style and configure layout. Okay so the first box is going to be layout width and that width is going to be the width of your picture. Now there are two ways to do this. You can create the width as a percentage of the screen size. So if the person has a really big screen, your website's going to be really wide. Or you can do it the way I prefer to do it and the way I showed you to do it before was to set up set it up as a specific pixel size. So you have a defined width. And I think that's the best way to do it because, you know, regardless of the person's screen size, you're always going to get a consistent um web page. So in this case, I did 990 pixels. That's the width of my website. So um, I'm going to write that down, 990 pixels. And then to get to height, we're going to go into here to header image and we're going to scroll down and when we get to header image height, that's the height of the image. That's what we're looking for right there. So in this case it's 150 now. So now we have to put the picture back in. So this is what it looks like now. Right? There's no there's no image below the menu. And we're going to go to style and edit header area. We're going to scroll down and in this first box it shows the different um parts of the header. So it's going to be number 1 logo, then pages, then bar 1. So after that we're going to put in we're going to put the image back in. So we're going to do percent sign image make sure you have a space after the last um, item and then percent sign image and then we're going to scroll down and save okay so the settings are saved so let's go back to our website uh, we'll press F5 or click the refresh button and there you go the, Im the image is back in there now that may be a little bit too big for your taste um, to me that's a little big, it takes up a little bit too much room, or that might be good for you, I don't know. But um, we're just going to use it as is, just to just for simplicity. And now I'm going to show you how to use GIMP to create your own custom image. Okay, now I've opened GIMP, and I have a picture that I want to edit and use for the header, so we'll open that picture. Okay, so as you remember, the measurements of our header image is going to be 990 pixels in width by 150 pixels in height. So we want to get this picture down to that, to those dimensions or slightly bigger um, any way that we can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by changing the width to 990 pixels. I think that's probably the easiest, the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to go to Image, Scale Image 
and I'm going to change the width to 990 and the height will change automatically to the scale so we'll scale it okay there you go and now we're gonna we want to see that full size so we're gonna change the zoom to 100 percent actually let's make that 50 percent just so that we can see everything okay so now that we've created a image that is 990 pixels wide we need to um, crop out a section that's 150 pixels high because that's the size of um, the image that's going to be in our banner so I found the easiest way to do that is to go up to image and go to canvas size and you want to click this chain link here that's going to unlink the um, aspect ratio or it's going to keep the ratio of the um, height and the width the same as the original so we want to take that out and we want to change the height to 150 and then I'll, I'll click in the width box there and as you can see it changes on the bottom in the preview so now there's just going to there's going to be this little black box here that's that's going to be the 150 pixels area so you want to drag the picture to the area that you want to use we'll just use it right there and click on resize and there you go so if you want to check the image size now go to image scale image and it's 990 by 150 perfect okay so now we're gonna save that go to file save as and I'm just gonna call it something and that's gonna be a JPEG that's fine and it's gonna give me a JPEG plugin can't handle transparency so that's, that's okay so just click on export and it's gonna ask for quality you can just bring that down to about 75 percent then save okay and the picture is saved so let's preview the image and there you go that's the image that we're gonna have in the banner okay so that's the hard part now we're going to return to our browser here and we're going to go into your control panel so to get to your control panel it's whatever your domain is w whatever dot com um, forward slash cpanel and then just enter your username and password then scroll down towards the middle and click on file manager and then it's going to default to web root that's good click on go okay so we're going to click on a series of folders here on the left hand side I just want you to click on the plus signs and that will expand the folders so we're gonna click on public dot under public underscore HTML we're gonna click on WP content themes Atatualpa images and header so on the header there's no more plus sign so we're going to click on the word header and this is the folder where the header images are stored by default there are three images so Atahualpa automatically randomly rotates between those three images it's kinda nice so at least there's a little variation in your um, in your website design and I think it, I, I use it for my other site and I think it's great so what you're going to just do here is you're going to upload your newly created banner file to this folder so click on browse then look for your image upload mine there it's gonna do its thing for a little bit okay and then what says 100 percent complete you can close this tab and then go back to the file manager and click on reload and there you go as you can see now there are two images in this um, header folder so let's go back to our website and let's click on the refresh button and let's see if we can make that other one come up there you go so that's your new banner image so now we want to get rid of that other one the generic one so let's click on this click on delete delete files and that one's gone okay so now we're gonna 
Let me refresh again. Okay, now whenever we, we click refresh, that should be the only image that comes up, as you can see. And if you want to have different pictures show up, just go back to here, create more images, upload them, and you'll get randomly displayed pictures on any of your web pages. And again, I think this is kind of nice because it creates a change of scenery. Um, people don't see a static design every time. And it may take up a little bit of space, but in certain circumstances, I like to use it. So that's how you do it. I hope it wasn't too difficult. Um, if you have any questions, please visit my blog at website rockstars.com and feel free to contact me and I, I'll create a video if um, I can answer your question. Okay, thanks for watching.